Hey guys! Um, so this is take four. I keep messing up while filming. I'm trying to do this to where I don't have to edit. Anyway, quickly I wanted to, like I was actually going to just type out a Facebook post, but then I was like, this is getting ridiculously long, so I might as well just speak it. Anyway, most of you guys know I have been working my butt off trying to get healthy and lose some weight in the process and tone up and stuff like that. So a lot of you know for like who have been following my journey know that since April I've been doing 21 day fix and stuff but then most recently the last four weeks I have been going to boot camp. And I have to say that I recommend it for anyone who is wanting to, I'm not going to say Okay, for anyone who is wanting to get healthy, get stronger, and tone, and go into it for the right reasons, I highly, highly recommend going to boot camp. Um, here in particular, it's the Michigan Adventure Boot Camp. It's, um, I'll post the link to the website, but um, it, uh... They, they're starting another round August, uh, August something. It's not the first. We get the week off and then, so I, I think August 8th is when it would start, I believe. Don't quote me on that. You'll have to go to the link and check the dates. But there is a new round starting. And so if it's something that you're interested in, I highly, highly recommend it. They have several locations throughout um, the area, Metro Detroit area. So I highly recommend checking it out and seeing if they have a location near you. But anyway, I just really wanted to share my results real quick. So we're going to do that. Um, I lost seven and a half inches. Exciting, right? Ah. Um, three of those inches were off my waist. It was so exciting. You know, like I never realized how much of a difference three inches was as far as like losing that much until the trainer, when she measured me, she's like, okay, well, this is what you were when you started. And I'm like, oh, that's really loose. And I look at it and it's like huge difference. And then she's like, this is what you are now. And I'm like, wow that's pretty cool anyway so yeah seven and a half inches three of them were off my waist and then it was like a half inch here and a half like an inch there like on my arms thighs hips whatever like the places that you normally measure anyway oh it's been a stressful day I have some stuff going on that I was going to bring up in this video but I decided to wait I'm going to film it tomorrow and you'll know why when I film it tomorrow, because I'm going to also post tomorrow as well. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Saturday, so maybe Monday. Because I won't be able to do a results video for the reason that you'll find out about. So maybe I'll post Monday instead. But anyway, so... um. Another great thing about boot camp is I'm, I have to say, I, I'm pretty sure every single person that was in our boot camp class had results, good results, positive results. So if you're looking into changing your life, I highly recommend it. Um, the trainer, her name's Erica. She is totally awesome. Um, she's super fun and she will kick your butt. Um, her workouts are not to be taken lightly. Um, anyway, I'm still sore from leg day, by the way, and I'm super sore from arms. And then we had to do like these, like, ooh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so stressed out today. Anyway. <clears throat> I was going to say some other things, but since I'm keeping this video short, since I already gave you my results, I'm going to go ahead and add some more clips. Okay.
Bye. <laughs> so right now I'm on my way to um, get my nails done. I'm finally getting that SNS system thing done. I'll like link to the salon that I'm going to to give them a shout out because seriously they're like one of the only ones in our area that do the SNS system but also it's like it's better for you like if you're someone who likes to get acrylics and stuff like that like stop doing that immediately like that's so damaging to your nails whereas like the SNS system like reading the reviews and like reading up on it and stuff it's not supposed to damage your nails like it's supposed to actually help strengthen them it has like vitamins and stuff like that in it that so I'm doing that and they don't put those like fake ugly cheap tips and stuff on your nails and stuff like that like it's so gross like acrylics are disgusting to me that's why I was like really iffy about doing the SNS system but after like reading about it and thinking hardcore I'm like you know what I'll try it if I don't like it I don't have to get it again you know I'll be a little bit early for my appointment though if I don't get gas first. <sighs> so I did my makeup today. It's all gonna be like, I'm probably gonna just remove it before I go to boot camp today. Oh my gosh, I'm so sore from boot camp too. It's crazy, like, well, like I did kickboxing yesterday, so it was technically back-to-back -back legs again. Like, the girls in my accountability group know, because I made them do one of the little circuits, the little mini circuits that we had to do for leg day at boot camp for their challenge yesterday. And, um, <laughs> they're like, that burns. It does, it burns. And then, like, I did kickboxing and it was legs. So we had to do these lunge and then j lunge and then jump kicks and crazy stuff and it's like ugh, I waddle like a duck right now because my like the outer thighs, inner thighs and my butt are sore. We had to run bleachers yesterday and do V-ups in between. I think it actually helped make the bleachers easy in my opinion because like you got that like while doing the V-ups even though you're getting like a different exercise like it's kind of like a rest from having to run up those crazy bleachers. I actually don't mind it though. It's kind of fun. Like I was almost tempted because I didn't burn very many calories during boot camp yesterday because it was just um like little bursts of cardio and then abs so I would have to say most of the calories burned came off during the cardio por portion of the workout but um like usually I burn on average about four four hundred calories three three between 350 something and 400 is what I burn during a normal workout and um It, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, like, it just, but yesterday I only burned, like, 257 during boot camp. So I wanted to, like, run one more round of bleachers at least to see if I could get it up to my normal. But I was so tired and no energy that I was like, screw it. Because the day before that I went, right after boot camp I went, and I still had so much energy left that I decided to go, um, I decided to go, um, whatchamacallit, running. <laughs> I can't even think straight. What is wrong with me today? Uh, so funny, so funny.
it's closed in these lanes. Please don't tell me that bridge is closed. Please don't tell me that bridge is closed. Please just tell me this road just curves where it's curving. Oh, no, it's okay. Ooh. They, they have all these cones out and I'm like, from where I was, it looked like they were blocking me from continuing on the route that I'm going, but. I know. So much construction. So it looks like they have like a new system where they're gonna have us turning at this light instead of the next light to get onto. What is this, Van Dyke? I think it's Van Dyke. No, it's not Van Dyke. It's, um... Yeah, no, it's Van Dyke. There's so much construction. Like, you should see my, um... Navigation right now, because it tells me like traffic incidents and like construction and traffic and stuff. Technology is awesome these days. I'm so excited to get my nails done. I have to uh, actually remember to go, there was something that I had to pick up. Foundation and then something else. I just can't remember what it is. giant trucks have no regard for like the smaller cars in traffic like they just oh because I'm driving a big giant vehicle people are going to watch out for me no you got to watch out for people too like anyway I'm almost there I've never been here before so I'm not sure how far up I have to go right next to Starbucks. Yay. Okay, perfect. I'm so excited. They have a witch witch, a sandwich place. <gasps> Bagels. I think I, I am in trouble with this place over here. Oh, these cars are seriously. Okay, you got a stop sign, dude, and I've been, I was here first. Starbucks. Yay. Okay, except I have to park all the way in Timbuktu. No, I, I know, I, I know. 
menu, cancel route. Oh, I can park right here. All the way, still in Timbuktu, but it's still a parking space. Yay, how exciting. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a Starbucks real quick and then I'm gonna come right back and film for a minute. Hey, so it was a good thing that after I got my Starbucks, I went ahead and went into the nail salon because I was just right there and I didn't want to walk all the way back to my car, but I got them done. Like I went for like a natural nail look. I didn't like with like a little bit of pink added to it because I didn't want to do anything crazy. And I love how like she didn't add any tips. She just shaped my natural nails. Um, they were different lengths, so she um, shaped them as best she could at the length that they are at. And then when I go back in in three weeks, they'll be a little bit longer. But I like this because I can still work out. Um, it looks like my natural nail. Like, you can't even tell that there's, like, powder on it. And when she, um, she, like, they, like, lightly buff your nails and then um, dip your finger in this powder and then set it with a gel top coat. And so that's all it is and it is a wonderful system. It's not expensive. Like it's like the same price as getting acrylics and then this won't damage your nails. Like, excuse me, because I was in there a little bit earlier, um, she had another client in that was in there getting her soaked off to like kind of take a break from doing the powder and because of the there's calcium in here so she said it'll make my nails grow really fast so we're doing like a three week waiting trial to see what it does anyway so there was another client and they're getting her soaked off and she literally sat there like she she was okay with um the girl um since she was just waiting for hers to soak off she, and then all she had to do was sit there and wait and then by the time she was done with me which only took like a half hour or so um yeah only well it took an hour total from start to finish but that was just because she was going back and forth between the two of us um but she got all my stuff done like she like filed my nails and stuff like that and she used this lotion that she makes herself that I'm gonna buy a bottle of next time I come in I didn't do it today because I just I don't know why I'm stupid I should have just bought a bottle it wasn't that expensive but it has like bamboo silk in it and it's so, oh my gosh my hands are like so soft anyway so um she uh soaked off her SNS um, stuff and she put some cuticle cream on and some I think she did top coat I didn't see if she did top coat or not but she didn't have to file buff or anything she was just able to trim up the girls nails cuticle oil and she was able to go like and her nails looked so great so I think I'm gonna like this stuff I think so I'm excited it doesn't feel like I have anything on there though like so pretty okay. so now I'm gonna go home oh, I gotta turn anyway. the Michigan left turns gotta love those Anyway, so I am seriously loving these so far. We'll, we'll wait a few days and I'll review them again. So pretty. I love it. I love it. Do you love it? I don't know. It would be pretty if I had my ring on. I think I'm gonna set up a Manny and Petty for next time. She's this girl like knows what she's she's so cute too. Like um first of all
first of all, she's the one and only person that has been able to guess my mix right. <laughs> as far as like what nationality Asian I, my mom is so that I'm mixed with or whatever. Because most people, like I've actually had a Mexican guy walk up to me and start speaking to me in Spanish, asking me a question, and I'm like, I don't speak Spanish. I'm not Mexican. <laughs> like, he thought I was Mexican, and that's what his, like, he had his kids with him, and um, he was an older guy, and he was like, like, it sounded like he was lost or something, or looking for a store or something, and his kids had to translate for him, for him to let like they were they thought it was hysterical by the way they thought it was so funny that their their dad thought I was Mexican too so I mean it's funny but like some people like I've been told that I look like I'm Hawaiian I've been told especially during the summer when I have like a really deep tan and stuff like that but she's the first person to guess that I am half Korean and it turns out she doesn't live too far from where I live, which is really cool. And she like, it was, you know what I really like about when I meet new people? What my favorite thing is when you meet someone and it, you ought to, like you just immediately after just talking to them for like the first couple minutes, feel like you've known them forever. Like, you know, and that is like the best thing about like the service industry is where you know she sees millions of women like thousands of women all the time like come in and out of her salon and to make a stranger feel like she's known them forever is a really good trait to have and she's so you can tell she's like a genuinely nice person so I'm definitely going back that like I don't like the drive is like 20 minutes 25 like almost a half hour drive but when you meet people like that it's totally worth it like it really is totally worth it gotta log my lunch because I forgot to do that. I think I forgot to log my morning snack too. And it's been like very low calorie all day today so I'm about to have an extra snack because my stomach is like telling me that I need to eat. Phone. Try saying a device. Phone. 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 Say a command. Call hubby on cell. Calling hubby on cell. in the second inning though okay well um I just wanted to make sure I just got done getting my nails did what was that I just got done getting my nails done who you with by myself remember I had that nail appointment oh okay yeah, so I'm just, I'm almost home. I just have to stop and get gas because my gas light's on. 
Um, but I was just asking. I was gonna. I was just asking to make sure that I'll be able to get to boot camp on time. Yeah. That's why I said hopefully I'll be home in time. But I. I are you plan? Are you planning on staying the full game? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll stay the full game. Okay, you're not drinking too much, are you? No. No, I'll be fine at home. Okay. Well, have fun. Just please be aware of what time I have boot camp and okay. stuff like that. Okay. Yep. I love you. I love you too. Have fun. Okay. Don't drink too much. I want you home in one piece. I will get home in one piece. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Where's Easton? Easton. Where's Easton? Where's Easton? Peekaboo! Where's Easton? Where's Easton? Peekaboos! Yeah. Ah. What are you doing, Sugar Plum? Oh, you're so cute. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. One, two, three. Pick him. I get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. One, two, three. Where's Easton? Where's Easton? Where's Easton? High five. Can mommy get a high five? Yeah. Diaper booty. Can mommy get a high five? Yeah. yeah? But no high five? High five. Oh. Ah. You're silly. Ah. What are you doing? Can you give mommy a high five? Uh, Where's Easton? Where's Easton? Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Uh, Easty pie. Uh, hey. Oh, what's under there? Is there anything under there? No, nothing. Oh, pillow. Snuggy pillow. These 